320 degrees. We got a little bit overcooked because we, we didn't have our mise en place in line. We didn't have an ice bath. So it should be a little clearer than this, but as you pull it, it aerates and it becomes wider. Now you can color it if you want. So what I thought, now this was all uh, promoted by a student asking about this. So I said, you know, why not? Because I love to do it. And it's not in the curriculum. So this is an extra bonus for you guys. If you look at it that way. Um, and so what I'll do is I'll just initiate the polling and then later, like after dinner, we'll do some uh, flowers and some decorations. It's a really hard technique, but it's really easy. When we do it for the BMP students, um, we have a four-day class of sugar. The second day, they already are putting together a showpiece, a little centerpiece of flowers and, and pulled sugar arrangement. It, it's really that fast. You can learn that fast. But to master it takes years, right? Just like tempering chocolate. Tempering chocolate's easy, right? Yeah. Yes. Hard to master? Yeah, because if you have to temper chocolate, when you have to temper chocolate, it will be a little bit stressful, right? So, <laughs> so what I'm doing is I'm trying to cool down the sugar enough for me to handle, and then I'm going to fold the sugar on top of itself, and it's going to trap air, it's going to cool it down, and it's going to aerate, and it's going to be the right texture for me to do some designs, okay? A lot of chefs will um, do this in advance and um, cut small pieces, and as they cool, they'll wrap it up and store it away. When they have a, uh, a requisition to make some flowers, they pull it out, they warm it up, and they can make some flowers. They usually don't go through all this cooking process unless they're building up their, their supply of, of cooked sugar. You can do pulled sugar and blown sugar with the same recipe. It's not really hot unless you hold it for a long period of time. Okay? You can also cool your hands down on marble while you're doing it. And it's funny because when the students first do it, they want to touch, 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 right? And all of a sudden you see them go, like this, right? I laugh. I like it. <laughs> so the, the technique for, for incorporating at this stage is you stretch it and you twist and you throw it onto itself. And so we can kind of, kind of continue this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's kind of like taffy in a way where you're stretching and, and creating uh, aeration, uh, but not as hot. Uh, this is much hotter than taffy. So what are you looking for, Jeff? What kind of texture? Like I'm looking for a shine, even shine, um, and then the the, uh, the lack of, or the resistance, what I'm trying to say. Uh, right now it's really easy, right? I can pull some, and it's really easy. What you want is something that is a little bit more resistant. When you do sugar decoration, you want to work with it when it's on the colder side. Actually, it's really hard to do, but it, it, it keeps the shine while you're doing that. And that's what makes it really difficult. Because as you're working with it, it starts to cool down. And maybe it cools down too much, and you have to warm it back up. You can do it in the microwave, but then you go back and forth, back and forth, trying to create that perfect flower. Right? A rose usually takes about 20 petals. And you may get like two or three petals out of one, one, one time, and then you have to reheat it because it cools down too much. I have a warming cabinet that I'll set up. The warming cabinet just kind of keeps the sugar uh, pliable while you're working with it. But as you're working with it, that sugar in your hand, because your hand is much colder than the sugar, it cools down the sugar. So while you're working with it, that sugar now starts to cool down, and you have to rewarm that sugar and pull it again, and then do the rest of your petals. Uh, eventually, you'll get lots of blisters, and the bl <laughs> and the blisters really don't come from the heat; it just comes from stretching, right? Like agitation. Okay? So this is almost done. You see it a little more shiny. And it's, it's got a little bit more resistance. See that? Still hot. Ooh. I was going to 
Everybody okay? All right. What we're going to do is I'm just going to stretch it out. It's a little slippery too. I'm going to stretch it out so it's an even thickness. And I'm just going to snip off some small pieces. And that's how you work with this. You'll see that when you, if you do ever do sugar work, that scissors are going to be your best friend. Because if, if you take a piece, man, that's hot. If you take a piece like this, it re-sticks to itself, right? And so scissors always take it away. Never try to, you know, do this because you'll be like forever. Kind of comical. Any questions? Okay. So what I'll do is I'll set up a, a little workstation, and I'll probably be playing over here. I'll skip dinner, and if you want to come by and take a look, you'll be more than happy to. Okay. All right. Thanks, everybody.